I'm checking out a new spot. I've never been here before. I'm not exactly sure what to expect yet. And I was like, should I even make a video about it? And then I'm like, what a silly question is that? Let's go! Just picked this up right out of the river. It's like a very quartzy agate because you can see some banding around the edge there. See that? Mostly a quartz bomb as uh, people often refer to. Looks like that outer husk is uh, quite agate -y. and then of course that banding. But hey, it's a cool first find. Not bad. Let's keep going. Look at this very red quartz. It's pretty interesting. I'm guessing that red is caused by iron oxidation. Neat. thought this was a piece of quartz, but I think it's actually a little nodule. It's very dirty though, which is kind of par for the course. A lot of these I have to pick up and kind of look at what they are, and then I don't always know whether it is one or not. I have to pick them up to kind of check and see if they are one first. I say that, and then I think I find one. There's a piece of calcetin right there. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, see? There we go. Ooh, look at that. It's got a lot of good banding on there too. It's a nice agate. It's uh, definitely broken into pieces, that is for sure. Well, that's cool. Very, very nice. Found some little pieces, including this little piece of, like, what I think is that red quartz, calcedony. But then, I see this. Very bubbly quartzy possible agate maybe could be it's very betroidal and it looks like it might have a quartz pocket in there too so it's pretty cool but I also look over and I see he's of kill Sydney right there and it looks like it has banding I can already tell oh yeah oh there we go look at that very nice finding some more chunkies this one is very dirty but it's quite translucent some more of that quartz balmy agate, but it's got some banding around the edges there. Chalcedony, pretty cool. And then I see that right there. Ooh, might even have some banding right there. Yeah, I think so. There's quite a bit of petrified wood around here. Pretty sure that's petrified wood right there. And then I think this might be a larger piece. You can kind of tell on this side. It looks kind of like wood grain to me. I don't know if I'm going to keep it, but it's pretty cool. Neat though. Itty bitty nodule. Even if they're small, I like finding them. I think I found another little one. A lot of these little chips around. They're pretty much everywhere. Now this might be more like it. But pretty early on, I found this little chunky of Kilsedney. Might even have some faint banding in there. Stuff going on there. Well, let's see what can be found out here. As you can see, blackberries are in full bloom. Too bad these are so invasive over here. <laughs> found lots of these little chips. And if you're ever scouting out a new spot, these are great indicators that there might be more stuff out here. Some of these are even little nodules, like that one. Pretty cool. Hopefully now there's some more bigger stuff laying around. Just found a nice seam, just right there. Let's get this wet. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Definitely a seam. Neat. And lots of these little indicators everywhere. And I was still there and felt this little nodule. Found a little chunky. And then the sun certainly made finding this one very easy. And that just came out. Hopefully that'll help me find some more. Wow, look at that. Cool. It's even got some light bending in there. It's pretty cool. It's another chip, but it's a pretty good size one. 
and with the sun that sure looks pretty wow cool all right let's see if the sun is going to help us find some more another rather dirty quartzy nodule didn't need the sun for this one because i'm on the dark side it's on the side that isn't illuminated but that's still quite pretty there's just so many chips around here even a nicely banded one right there. It's got some nice banding on it. There we go. Including some nodules. Lots of nodules actually. Still kind of waiting for that big one. I can see even the little chips as I'm filming. Oh, that's a nice one too. See, they're just everywhere. Just uh Hoping there will be a bigger one among the chips. The indicators are surely there. Keep looking. Indicators, indicators. I think people walked from that side over here, over there. And I think that because of that, this little spot has been missed because I just saw, actually with the help of the sun, I saw this piece. That is a nice one. It's got bending too. The little quartz pocket there. I think that might be quartz. Nice dark orange. I think there's even some bending in there. Maybe right there. Actually, it might be over there too. Yeah, there we go. Like a quartz center in there. Well, that's certainly a great find. And as of right now, definitely also the find of the day. I like it when they're when they're just bright. Look at that. Very cool. It's a nice piece of Kelsenny glowing in the sun. Cool. Found a nice little seam in the water. Pretty neat. It's got some banding in it too. It's awesome. And then just right in the bank here, I saw that little piece. I already picked it up because I had to make sure that it wasn't just quartz, but yeah, it looks like it's a little bit more than that. Pretty rough for sure. Some more nice little nodules. That one is a decent size. Kind of bubbly wobbly. Cool. Sure is pretty out here. I'm having a blast, even if I don't find a bigger one. <laughs> it's still a lot of fun to be out here. It's a beautiful morning. Another very dirty, decent sized piece right here. But with the sun, they become pretty easy to see. I think I saw another one just right in here. Yep. Small, hey, but it's got some banding. Really good banding, in fact. Wow, did not expect that at all. Dang. Found a really nice jazz bag just now. Very waxy. It's got multiple colors in there. And there's some chalcedony that runs through it. See, it's got yellow and red mixed together. The white is chalcedony. Pretty neat. I see one in the water. Let's go pick it up. Yeah, there we go. Piece of Kelsetney. Cool. Didn't even know it was one right away. But look, a nice piece of Kelsetney I just pulled up out of the river. Pretty cool. It's got uh, some crystal impressions, maybe? It's possible. I think it's mostly just Kelsetney, but... Still pretty fun. Very dirty. I see another nice piece of Kelsetney. Looks like a nodule from here. Let's grab it. Check it out. Oh, there's another. I see a little chunky next to it. Oh no, it's going away. It's elusive. The current is very strong here. It's not very deep, so. Ah, okay. It doesn't matter. It's just a little chip, anyways. Yeah, look at that. Little nodule. It's um, maybe crystal impressions right there. Pretty cool. I like it. 
Not sure yet if this is if this is quartz or agate. Oh, someone's going away. There we go. Oh, I got it. And it is definitely Chalcedony. Ooh, we got bands. It's an agate. Sea mag, it looks like. Very nice. Happy with that. Might be the new find of the day even. Look at that banding. Cool. Very pretty. Apparently I wasn't done yet, because I look down and I see another one. Ooh, doo -doo, doo -doo. Oh yeah. Looks like that center is quartz. Neat little piece. This is perfect right here, because the light is shining down on it. It's not very deep. Gets very deep just right behind me though, that's very strong. Definitely want to get into that. But before that, it is perfect to see all the little pieces. I don't know if I can pick them up one handed with the camera here. I should be able to find some more in here. Let's keep looking. I see another really good one, and I'm gonna try to pick it up with the camera here. Oh, I think I might actually see two. Oh, oh yes, I see two. Oh boy. I got him. Oh, very nice banding right there. Look at that. Beautiful. There we go. Shadow's better, apparently. Look at that. Super cool. All right, let's look at the other one. The one that I wasn't even originally seeing. It's like a bubbly, wobbly, that might be the inside of like a geode or something. Like a cavity, at least. The outside, and then that would have been, uh, where was it, right there, the cavity, it's got like a uh, botryoidal in there, very cool, good size too, lots of mediums I would say, which I am not unhappy about at all, oh boy, so this right here is the absolute honey hole, I found just these, and unfortunately I can't, like pick them up because the current is so strong I can't pick them up with the camera at the same time but I just found all these decent size well look at that red one I just that's the one I found just now oh, I'm so excited this is insane beautiful color and then this one has banding it's hard to tell the camera right now and it's also so dirty I'll have to clean this one up but it's a good size and it's got banding in there but then the third one also has banding right there, you can kind of tell. It's got banding in it. So, three and a little one. Great ones. Good size. Absolutely happy with that. But then I found an absolute banger. The absolute find of the day. Let's get it wet. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> It's got bending, it's got like that crystal pocket in there, but it's got bending all around it. Look at that, oh boy, how amazing is that? And then the other side, not as striking, mostly, uh, well, Chalcedony, Carnelian I guess, maybe a little bit of a pocket right there. But this side, look at that, what a beauty. Now that is absolutely the find of the day. How awesome is that? I've never found one this interesting too. Like, I don't know what this host rock, I guess, what that would be. It's kind of a different material, but it's definitely all blended together. Doesn't get much better than that. Ugh, I'm gonna keep looking, but if I don't find anything else, I would be very, very happy with this, for sure. Amazing day. <laughs> wow. I thought that was gonna be it after that last beautiful agate, but I'm seeing a pretty good size, the very least, piece of Chalcedony. And it's in the not fast flowing part, so I can actually pick this up together with you. How pretty. Very dirty though, wow. It's uh. Definitely could use a little acid bath. 
that is for sure but what a nice one gorgeous Ooh, it's got a little little cave in there look at that it's a little cave super awesome good size too found lots of little chips even some medium ones towards the end there but to end it with just two beautiful sized agates just a perfect day does not get much better what an absolutely perfect day I had never been here before it was honestly a great first impression I would say I'm really really glad that I brought all of you along and I hope you enjoyed it you know finding this Chalcedony right at the end it's very nice it's very dirty but it's a beautiful one and then that what I think is probably a peeler agate it's just gorgeous to find this this is definitely very unusual never found anything quite like that so I really appreciate you watching all the way till the end and I certainly hope to see you in the next one tot de volgende keer Thank you for everyone that likes the video, comments on the video, is subscribed to the YouTube channel, and a double thank you if you also share the video around. I truly appreciate it, and that motivates me to keep making more videos.